Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you and today we're going to be taking a look at the G-Skill Phoenix Blade PCI Express Solid State Drive. Now, to save time, I have got it out already so that we can have a good look around it. Now, first things first, is a uh, PCI Express Solid State Drive. It's PCI Express 8, but it's PCI Express 8, but it's PCI Express 2. So it's still got the eight lanes, but it's using the PCI Express 2 bandwidth. So if you have a look on your motherboard, if you've got one of the newer boards with PCI Express 3, if you have a look in the manual, you will see that there are PCI Express 2 lanes there normally as well. Now you don't have to put it in a PCI Express 2 lane. You can um, put it into a PCI Express 3, it's fine. I was just explaining to you that if you have a PCI Express 2 uh, on, the, uh, on your motherboard, it's not actually going to, uh, you know, be getting bottlenecked, and I hate that word, uh, by the PCI Express 2 bandwidth, because this is what it's designed for. It does come with a full height uh, PCI bracket or an expansion bracket for the uh, back of your case. But if you were going to use it in like a server, for example, or something with a shorter bracket, it does come with the half height bracket as well. There are some activity lights on the back. I've only just noticed that we've got, um, we're getting a bit of a, a shadow from the old camera so we'll uh, we'll change the view a little bit so there we go it's a little bit better so we've got some activity lights around the back I was slightly disappointed to see that it wasn't black at the back but also uh, we while we're talking about the like a colored uh, slot at the back the PCI Express uh, the PCB I should say is sadly green but they have done a very good job of covering uh, most of it up because we've got this lovely back plate which does actually act as a heat sink as well because if you have a look you can see that it's um, the, the memory chips that are on that side do have some uh, thermal pads attached and it is this is active cooling but if you have a look there are also chips on the inside which are not being cooled but on the uh, top you see there is actually quite a large heat sink here which is covered by this and you can see we've got a little bit of a mesh grill there but there is also a rather large heat sink down this end as you can see the silver bit here which is actually where the uh, the main controller is, is because uh, this is uh, like the main PCB and then this is like a daughter board on the top and it's all connected together so it does all look pretty good you don't see much of the green once it's in your rig uh, especially if you've got a graphics card uh, above it it does create uh, quite a nice uh, shadow maybe that's why we were having problems with the shadow i don't know anyway so on to the uh, performance side of things the first bench that we run was uh, crystal disc mark and the the main things that you want to take uh, note of with this are the two at the top that's 1500 megabytes a second uh, read and then a thousand megabytes a second write now sometimes when you review solid state drives you do have to kind of play, mess around with them um, and like force trim and sit around and wait and sometimes you have to mess around with drivers solid state drives to do properly and accurately really are a pain in the ass this was quite literally click run and it just absolutely blew the doors off um, if we move on to Atto, if you have a look down the right hand side, you can see the read and writes and you can see them start to spike as they get near the bottom. But we've, uh, we were having writes there of uh, up to 140 meg a second. And you can see on that 140 meg run, there was also 1600 meg of read as well. So it's done phenomenally well throughout that test. Um, if we uh, move over to uh, Anvil, and this is a good one because it shows you IOPS, it shows you read and writes and everything as well. There's quite a lot of uh, information for you to be able to uh, grab, you know, to take from that. But again, we can see a solid uh, 1400 uh, megabyte a second uh, read and then just shy of a gig a second uh, uh, on the right. So then. On to a brief conclusion, because we are going to rattle through this. Uh, it's kind of helping me get back into the flow of things, getting the uh, boiler back up to full steam in the new year. But this is an absolute no-brainer. It's uh, the OC3D Performance Award. 
Uh, we've had a look on overclockers and the price does come in at 550 quid, which for a 480 gigabyte solid state drive uh, is quite expensive nowadays because let's face it, you can get one that's going to give you sort of like 500 meg read and writes for uh, around the 200 pound mark now. Some of them can even be found even cheaper. Um, but obviously this does blow the absolute doors off when it comes to all out balls performance. 1500 meg uh, reads and then a thousand meg writes. That's the type of numbers that you'd need multiple solid state drives in a RAID 0 array to be able to get those sort of numbers from. Two drives, you're lucky to get a gig a second read or write on them. So the fact that this is doing a write of a minimum of around that gig mark and then you're getting 1500 megabits a second as a read speed is absolutely unreal. Obviously you're going to need a PCI Express slot to put it in which may cause a bit of problems if you're running uh, a dual graphics cards in your system. So please make sure that you uh, have a look at the way that your PCI Express is laid out on your board. That's mainly going to be only going to be an issue for those of you that are on like Z97 or something like that because you've only uh, you've got your PCI Express 3, but you've generally also got some separate PCI Express 2. So you're just going to have to be careful about the way you do it. Uh, if you if you're not 100% sure, like I said, look at your manual, or you can uh, jump onto the OC 3D forums, and I'm sure some of the boys will help you out over there. Um, but like I said performance award it's absolutely mind-blowing it's, it's the fastest uh, drive that we've had come through here so far um, something that I have just found out about it though is uh, if you are rich enough mad enough and I've got enough PCI Express lanes you can stick two of these in your system and uh, set up RAID 0 through your operating system uh, just to make it that even little bit quicker I have just messaged G-Skill as well saying can I have another one so I can have a play with two anyway Thoroughly, uh, award, uh, th it thoroughly deserves the OC3D Performance Award. I've been Tiny Tom Logan and I will be back with another video for you again shortly. Ding!